Good morning, everybody. We're halfway through the week. It's Wednesday. Good morning, Magnus Aiden. Good morning, Baby K. Mwah. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Pop Up. Good morning, Uncle Brian. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, it's hump day. That means we've got as many days behind us as we have ahead of us. We're halfway there. Ready to start our exciting Wednesday adventure? Let's go. The lights are on in Uncle Brian's room. That means he's getting ready to come down and give us a ride. There goes Uncle Brian to start his Wednesday. And I've got a bunch of stuff that I've got to lug in. Let me put this down. Hold on a minute. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be gardening with our students soon. So all of this stuff is to help us plant flowers. We've got, we got our cups, we got our soil and our seeds and our watering can, everything we need to grow some flowers together. That is an empty parking lot. Time to go. I only have time for a little short walk today, so I decided to go over to Jackson Woods and take a little look at the pond this morning. Let's take a look. The Green Wave Trail is gonna bring me back to JMF. Let's go. Mr. Rocky might not be here yet, but buildings and grounds are here to work on the lawns and do some landscaping. The moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, is it time to go in? Nope, not yet. Three little monkeys swinging in the trees, teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of the tree. Two little monkeys swinging in the trees, Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. One little monkey swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. But he missed. And he said, missed me, missed me, now you've got to kiss me. Mwah. Buildings and grounds trucks are right outside our window. They have all the tools and materials they need to clean up our school garden today. That's why they're here this morning. Good morning, hello again, and happy Wednesday from the U-shaped table here in room 117. It is Wednesday and I have already seen an important sign of spring. The buildings and grounds workers are working to clean up our garden so that we can plant something new for the season ahead. And that's definitely a sign that the season of spring is here because we do a lot of planting 
and gardening in the spring. In fact, we're gonna be doing some gardening with my class very soon this week. Another sign of spring is that we start to see birds laying their eggs and we see baby animals being born. And today we're going to read From Egg to Robin. And these are three robin eggs and they're the color blue, like a light blue. And on the back of our book, it doesn't ask a question, but it does tell us about what we're going to read. This is an information book. It says, find out what a robin does before she lays her eggs. Then see what happens when the eggs hatch. So we're gonna learn a little bit about the life of a robin. This book was written by Susan Canizares and Betsy Chesson. So let's take a look at From Egg to Robin. This is a robin. We see robins in our neighborhood. The robin builds a nest. There's no words on this page, but just take a look at this robin sitting in her nest. This here is a nest where she sleeps and where she puts her eggs. The robin lays eggs. And just like we saw on the cover, those eggs are a powdery light blue. Then the eggs hatch. Look at these baby birds crying out for their mama. They're so hungry. There's another picture of the baby birds. They look different than the mommy bird because they haven't grown their adult feathers yet. The robin feeds her babies. Oh, that's not a good day for Mr. Worm, but these robin babies need to eat, and this is what robins eat. Dinner time at the robin nest. Yum. The babies get bigger. Now they are grown up robins. Now those babies look more like their mama with that red feathers on their chest and their dark feathers on their back and their wings and their head. And then on the last page, it has even more information about the, the cycle of eggs growing into robins. So if you were interested in learning more, you could read more about it on this page. And on this page, and it goes over some of the pictures that we saw in the book. So that was From Egg to Robin by Susan Canizares and illustrated by Betsy Chesson. Now, it's not really an illustrator. Betsy Chesson is probably the photographer because all of the images in this book, they weren't drawn, they were taken with a camera. All right, well, that's really exciting. I hope we see some robins and some robin eggs and some nests being built. I think we have one being built right in our backyard, right in our back deck, underneath the deck. So I'll have to get a, a shot of that to show you and to show everybody. Well, it's been a great morning. I love sharing this time with you, but I have to get my classroom ready now. So before we go, a quick peekaboo. Now, I'm starting to hear that maybe this is what happens with kids growing up is maybe peekaboo isn't as exciting as it used to be. But we're gonna do one more peekaboo today for old time's sake, so here we go. Three slow ones and one quick one. Peekaboo, 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 peekaboo. All right. I love you. That's all the time I have. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.